Welcome back to another video on my channel guys, today is episode 2 of uh, Soccer Manager 2017 on my channel. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, link in the description below if you haven't seen it already. I took over as a Cardiff City manager and we're going into our first game of our pre-season games against Derby County, I believe at home. It is the 16th of July 2016 in-game. And uh, yep, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our last episode. Uh, also in the last episode, we obviously assigned players to work on certain attributes that they need to be working on in training. If you can remember, the coaches obviously recommend me to do that. And this is the team we'll be fielding against Darby Aaron for very quickly for you. So we've got Benny Austin, Gold Richardson, Richard, sorry, Morrison, Achille Manga, and Pelsier at the back. Uh, Whittingham Gunnison rolls in the middle, and Pilkington, Embers, and Lambert, the front three. The, the uh, coaches obviously recommended me going with a three at the back, but I changed it to it being obviously 4 three, three attack instead. I think that pretty much works out for what I'm planning on doing with the team. Anyhow, let's go into this game against uh, Derby County. At the card is the stadium, we are home. Uh, we have an advertisement here, I'm not really sure, sure why. If the advertisement feels so low, please wait up a minute and we'll be able to continue with your game. I didn't really expect an advertisement to obviously pop up here. Um, yeah. Let's just watch this now, I suppose. We can't really do much about it. I don't know if you can turn them off. It would be nice if obviously I could. It's very much a waste of time to go on. So anyway, uh, here we go then. Playing Derby County, our first game of the season. A, uh, obviously, friendly game against uh, Derby County. Uh, we are obviously at home and uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Let's go on with the game. So you can obviously see how it's uh, how it's set up. It's pretty cool, I suppose. And uh, we actually do score four minutes into the game. I think it was Pilkington who scored it. Did say? Uh, I have to get I got another here. That'd be quite nice to see. Fortunately, the goalkeeper saves it. Uh, I like the setup. It's pretty nice there. Actually, showing obviously showing us uh, the match facts as well as obviously how things are going. If we press four match, we can just keep seeing that. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> This is all we need to, really pretty much need to be doing, uh, just watching the game like this. I mean, pretty enjoyable if you ask me. I do uh, quite like uh, games like this uh, and, you know, just being able to take over a club like this and all that good stuff. Anyhow, we are still 1-0 up against Derby, uh, courtesy of that Pilkington goal. Although, it's, you know, pretty even at the moment. Both teams have chances. Derby have had a lot more possession than us as of late. So you can see at the bottom here, last five minutes of possession. Us obviously being the blue and Derby being white. It'd be nice if we can obviously get a first win under the belt. Uh, for me, in terms of this being my first game, it'd be nice obviously to show the board that you know I'm the right man to go with by winning the first game. The preseason games we'll be playing. We're playing obviously three of them, and the other two being against Forest Green Rovers and then Chelsea. And you know, Conte's men. Good save from A I did see. It's going pretty quickly, I know, but uh, you know, these are only preseason games, so. You know, it's one for us to get to the, the league itself. Anyway, it's half time now. We are one nil up against uh, Derby. Uh, in terms of obviously our players' fitness and all that, uh, they look look okay to me, Tomas. Although this is a preseason friendly, so you know we're gonna rotate the team around just see which players are more suited to what position. I think we'll take Pelze off and bring on Bennett. Um, perhaps we'll we'll put on. Um, Gnog, well, not Gnog, but actually, let's put on Zahora for uh, Immers. I think we'll leave it as that and go in into the second half, making obviously a slight alteration. We have unconfirmed tactical changes. I've ah, got to press, obviously. Uh, but changes have been requested, and the second half is underway. We have obviously brought those two guys on right there. Oh, no, it was Immers who scored, not um, Pilkington. <laughs> My bad. Um, I, I think I can slow it down. Uh, yeah, so I can literally... It'd be just like a real match in itself if I do keep it like that. But let's put it back up to 30, like it initially was. So it went all to us here against uh, Derby. I don't really think there's any, any need for us to obviously make any changes or anything. Our players look like they're you know, pretty uh, fit to continue on. It's the yellow card for Richards and actually Derby... Uh, score uh, right there as you can see they hit the crossbar and then I guess they might have got a rebound or something and it's now 1-1 they seem all over us actually here yeah. we're pretty camped in our box so 
So at the moment, uh, it's still 1-1. We're just watching uh, how the game develops on. Uh, Lux has gone back to, obviously, even chances now, which is good to see. Perhaps I might actually just pause it right there and maybe bring on a substitute. Uh, attendance is 3,671. So obviously not many people wanting to turn up to this game. Let's go to tactics here. Uh, and maybe bring on now Gnogbe for um, Lambert and bring on Dekashui for Rolls. Uh, obviously, you make as many changes as you want in preseason friendly games. It doesn't particularly matter, no. The number of subs game permitted that will be exceeded. Ah, okay. I thought you can make as many as you want. That's international friendlies, I believe, not what I had in mind. So we do have to, I believe, just be, uh, well, just be able to bring on uh, the Kashui. No, no, not the Kashui, sorry, uh, Gnogbe. So let's see if he can make a difference in this game. It is still 1 1 here. As you can see here, I have requested uh, for the, him to come on, and the ball will be. Uh, kick out field shortly, I hope, and then he'll be able to come on until then. Though he is waiting to come on for us, he is now on. Nice little sound effects of the fans all in the back as well. So, you know, nice addition to the game that is. If you ask me, past the 70th minute now, it is still 1 1 in this game. As you can see, the possession is pretty much in Derby's favor, actually, compared to it being in our favor. Uh, Really, I mean, 1-1 one, one wouldn't be too bad, but considering it being a home, I would would like us to obviously pick up a win here if we can. We started off really well, obviously, going 1-0 up with Emma's scoring, not uh, Pilkington. Well, I'll be, be quiet, you know, we might be able to nick a goal here. Worst case scenario, they nick it and they end up going into the lead. And it wouldn't be obviously a very good performance uh, in terms of me losing my first game in charge of the club. I'm not sure if you can get sacked. I presume you can. It would be... Pretty stupid that feature wasn't in the game. I mean, I could just lose continuous games and not and just can't get away with it, and they wouldn't bother be bothered about it. Sorry, but um, obviously that is probably a feature in the game. I don't know. I haven't really looked. Quite surprised really about that attendance. It only being three thousand six hundred, but obviously this being a preseason friendly, I guess that kind of makes sense. Not everyone wanted to come watch it, and it being in July, and most people are probably on the summer holidays and all that. This might be ending 1 1. We're not really, it's not really ending being any clear cut chance. So let's pause it and see if we can make any changes, like um, maybe shout out some instructions. So perhaps our mentality to become attacking, our tackling style to become, well, keep it as sort of normal. I don't really want to get, get any, uh, you know, uh, red cards or anything. Uh, tempo, let's, you know, bumper double, let's, let's be pressing all over. And, uh, yeah, let's see what that does. I hope, obviously, that isn't a mistake on my behalf. We need to obviously confirm that change. Uh, confirm changes are being on the green, I, I presume. Yep, there we go. Changes have been requested. So we've got a little more attacking here. In comparison to just sitting back and letting Derby be all over us. But they have scored in the 85th minute. Okay. Well, let's go back to the tactics. Um, go back, go to the instructions, and uh, you know, let's just go very, go very attack. We re really don't have much to lose. Uh, let's play through the middle. See if we can split them open. And yeah, we just kind of should be just thumping it forward now. To be honest with you, let's just confirm that. It's a pretty really small little uh, box to press. Uh, to confirm your changes, as you see, now possessions all in our favour. The Derby still have that uh, extra goal advantage. It's approaching the ninetieth minute. I was really hoping we've only got an extra minute added on here, so inevitably now, unless anything happens in our favour, we'll be losing this game. And unfortunately, we do. Man of match was Ben Amos, our goalkeeper. Uh, attendance 3 hours in 71. It must have gone to the fifth minute, but uh, late goals from Vidra and Anya meant that we did lose that game. And unfortunately, uh, you know, it's not the start that I wanted uh, us losing, but, you know, what can you really do about that? Anyhow, uh, I'm going to end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like on it. I hope you take, uh, take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see if I can upload episode 3 tomorrow. Peace. Yeah.